Hey, what's up guys, it's Rick. I just bought this 2008 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor from a government fleet auction. And we're about to search this car and find out what did she come with, what was left behind. When you buy these cars as a dealer, you always get them as is. So there's no telling what we're gonna find in here. I mean, this thing has been in service for 15 years. I'm excited. I don't really see Crown Vicks as much anymore. Let's find out what department did she come from from. Does she even run? Was the 300 mile round trip to pick her up even worth it? Let's search her and find out. Let's go. Okay, let's get started with our search. So I'm gonna bring her down here in just a bit. I'm just waiting on my help to arrive. But what the hell, look at this. <laughs> the pipes are just hanging here. That's kind of odd. It's like we got spotlights on both sides. Looks like the front bumper is missing. This actually looks kind of cool. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Okay, let me get the wire cutters real quick. Okay, we're off to a very good start. We have two wheeling ion lights with a bracket of some sort here. And according to the wires here, it should be red and blue. I'm going to put these down for now. We're going to test those out here in just a bit. Is this any more? Yeah. These tires are in pretty good condition and I don't, I'm not sure what happened here, but there's no keyhole. I don't know how I'm going to get this open, but I'll deal with that when it's time. All right, let's take a quick look inside. Oh, it's got a unique center console here with some type of a tablet holder. Oh, would you look at that? Looks like a police radar. Wiring thing goes here. How is that on there? It's off. There's one in the front, usually there's one in the back. So this is a Customs Eagle Radar. This thing is the reason why my driver's license is suspended. So every vehicle that comes across my path has to be fully searched. You don't want to end up selling a car full of contraband. I'm going to start my search from the front and work my way to the back. This whole car is falling apart. Got some gloves. This thing actually changes the siren tones when you step on it. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, some type of like rubber bracket or gasket, I should say. Ooh, we got an antenna, Lyard police antenna. I actually need this antenna for my LAPD project. That's right. For those who missed it, I am working on building an LAPD squad car. Episode one will be available soon. It's going to be a live premiere. So make sure the bell notification is on. You don't want to miss it. Let's get back to searching. Right up here is where the police computer will go. And this is actually what holds the keyboard. Look at how it swivels. You can adjust it to many different ways. Which is awesome and check it out the touch master delta this is what controls the lights sirens pa all the police essential oil. this is where the microphone would go like this and of course you know you cannot do your job properly without a cup holder and uh, we have a motorola radio speaker city of gilroy okay so check it out we have a santa cruz gun lock for a shotgun and uh rifle awesome for some reason they had to shave off some of some of the butt right here oh nice check it out it's a uh, tactical eating utensil <laughs> it's a spork a knife and uh, some type of hook cutter bottle opener that's pretty cool and a case for it and uh, we have a martian dome light there's no power right now so it's not gonna work on this side, we have a Streamlight charger, the charger for the flashlight, a radio battery charger right here, cigarette ports right there. And right up here, there is a, yep, a sun visor emergency light. Okay, show me police light. It's got a cigarette port. Let's go test this. Show me the light. Yep, there it is. Hell yeah. Check it out. Extremely bright. Looks like the corner light. There's a corner strobe in there. Cool. All right, guys, cross your fingers for a biscuit. And there is a bunch of wires. It's like the locks for the doors. For some reason, they removed the locks. What we got here? A bunch of uh, police intake forms. There's nothing under here. 
what do we have here we have an organic face mask organic huh made out of bamboo and spandex okay all right this is uh evidence scooper collector thing see those all the time of course you got your fingerprint pad oh, it's still wet it's still good we got some more antennas add that to the antenna collection i'm actually going to remove all these seats so i can fully search this vehicle but first let's take a look in the back there is a Setina prisoner partitioner it's actually in very good condition we have the, the vertical bars right here you're not getting out of that easy cleanup all right so i'm going to tell you guys something i never really told anybody before only a few people know this i'm not proud of it i'll tell you that much but i've been arrested in my whole life at least 36 times <laughs> i've been literally booked in jail more than 36 times and the reason is because i used to live in vallejo california and that was for a while one of the most dangerous cities in california so back then you would go to jail for any little thing i'm talking no driver's license jail you didn't make it to your probation officer on time jail i didn't have a car anymore so i would walk you look suspicious jail i and there's many times that i went to jail for something i absolutely did not do like i got arrested for fighting at six flags i was never even in, in six flags i matched the description somehow some way and i got booked for disorderly conduct assault and I was forced to plead guilty because if I did, I would be released that same night. And if not, I would have to go to trial and I would have to remain in jail till the end of the trial because I couldn't afford bail. So, oops, freaking wasp. But yeah, anyways, I'm over here rambling. Let's get back to searching. Okay, we got some uh, old gum, double A batteries. This might still be good. I'm gonna keep this. Ooh, a CD. Keep. 40 caliber shell. All right, let's take a look on the other side. Oh, what do we have here? Evidence tape. Nice. Do not open, do not open. Authorized personnel only. Cool. Another shell, 40 caliber shell. Breathalyzer tips. Junior police sticker. Gilroy police for sure. Just like her twin sister. Pride, professionalism, service. That's definitely their quote. Confirmed Gilroy police. So this right here is what holds the dash camera. Uh, some sort of antenna. Okay, for a better searching experience, the seats gotta come out. I'm hitting under there. It's got the stab proof backs. All right, let's take a look inside. Oof. Looks like nothing but garbage, pens, and pencils. Okay, we could take a better look in the daytime. Oh, look at that. Hollow point. All right, stick to the end of the video. We're gonna go and test these bullets out. We just gotta find something worthy of shooting. Okay, so now the driver's seat has gotta come out. All right, let's take a look in here. Gilroy police, notice to appear. You've been subpoenaed. Coles loss prevention, another spent shell. And yet another spent shell. Okay, the center console's gotta come out. Looks like it's being held by all these wires here. I'm gonna have to disconnect everything I can. There's some ground wires right there that I need to unbolt and that should free up the whole center console. The very last bolt. Okay, she's out. Look at all this car spaghetti. This thing's attached to this. I thought this would be attached to the center console. Check it out. This is her out of the car. This is actually in really good condition. Okay, guys, it's time to remove the back seats. So 
like a freaking Batman suit. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what is this? Oh. And look, here is the cable for the other radar. Check it out. Holy shit, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Lots and lots of stickers. Gilroy Junior Police. Hey, I sent out all the other Gilroy stickers to you guys. Look at these freaking cables. Look how thick that red cable is. This car was taking in a lot of power. No wonder these Crown Vigs have 200 amp alternators. Okay, so I was gonna remove this Satina partitioner, but there's a guy who's gonna come and see it and see if he wants it. Uh, but so I'm just gonna leave it like this so he can see it intact. Unfortunately, it is missing this little piece right here, but I may have one in the back somewhere. And uh, look at that. They think they're slick. A little hidden microphone. All right, let's, let's start her up. All right, 104,000 miles. It's 5,000 idle hours. It's about normal, okay. All right, let's look under the hood. All right, she sounds smooth. It's got an aftermarket intake manifold. This is basically the other Crown Vic's twin sister, but this one is not burnt up like the other one. Clean, dirty, but clean. Oh, and check this out. We have brackets for what looks to be a Code 3 light bar, G4 Gilroy. And check out this antenna. It goes all along the way. It's magnetic too. Oh, that reminds me, let me show you something. And check it out, guys. I came across this Code 3 21TR light bar. This came out of a Indian reservation Crown Vic. Oh, look at her. Doesn't she look so much sexier? The customer that wants this vehicle wants it completely decopped. I gotta remove all the spotlights and all the little things on there that make this car cool. Okay, so now I gotta get in this trunk and there's no keyhole. And the power does nothing. So you guys remember this from the Richmond police car? Yeah, let's put this thing to good use. Damn it, really? This thing broke? This thing is like solid. How, whatever. Shows you how tough these cars are. Okay, with the help of this metal piece, I was able to make the hole wide enough for me to stick my hand in there and pull the little lever. Okay, it's better be worth it. All right, let's get in there. All right, we got this nice little tray right here. I might use it for my LAPD project. This looks like some type of power inverter. That's where all those big, yep, that's where those big wires are coming from. What's back here? Ooh, would you look at that? Looks like a 223 round silver with a green tip. Interesting. And we have a Kevlar police trunk pack. And uh, what do we have here? Let's see, let's take this out. Ugh, this thing is freaking heavy. Oh, check it out. Strike face, bullet resistant panel. This is BLS textiles, level three protection. So now we have something to shoot at. Let me go get the biscuits. And we're gonna put those bullets that we found to the test on this thing right now real quick shout out to my newest members jason step and auto fan one you now have a permanent place in the vegas project along with all my other channel members and if you missed it i did a brand new progression video on the vegas project so make sure you check that out okay we're in the vegas project and we're heading over to the district 76 shooting range funny man wanted to shoot but i just don't trust him yet so I'm going to make him my cameraman for now. Isn't she just so sexy? All right, guys, got my safety gear on. And some of you guys will remember the CZ75B. Well, I still have it. That Duffus never came back and got it. So I'm not going to mail it to him. So it's here till he gets it, I guess. I didn't know why I didn't realize this, but that bullet was actually a 40 caliber. Go ahead and test out this strike face. <laughs> All right. 
Bam. Bam. Where's the other shots? Did I miss? <laughs> Let's go see the back now. There is nothing on the back side. Wow, that thing works. Full metal jacket too. So yeah, the car will be refurbished to a street appearance package. So it's gonna look as civilian as possible. If you like videos like these, support the channel by hitting the like button. Leave me a comment, tell me where you're from, say hi, hashtag me and I'll drop a heart. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.